All right. So in, um, in classification problems, machine learning problems, sometimes training can be, the training data set can be very long and very um, large. And the algorithms might become inefficient just because of that. So one way that people make these more efficient is by reducing everything to numbers. And the way they do it is like this. So for example, in this case here, we have uh, the play tennis example. We have one attribute, two attributes, three attributes, four attributes, five attributes, right? So you might want to have, in a program, you might want to have an attributes array that is, for example, a string attributes, right? And the attributes are as as a uh, as it is as it is here, the, the attributes are basically uh, outlook, temperature, humidity, wind, and play tennis. All right. Now, the the important thing here is that these strings are for reference only but then we will refer for example temperature as attribute number one we will refer to outlook as attribute zero we will refer to humidity as attribute two we will refer to wind as attribute three and we will refer to play tennis as attribute four so then we can say for example our target attribute is four right so our target attribute is 4. Now our target attribute is not play tennis anymore, it's just number 4. So we know that uh, the fourth attribute is our target attribute. Now, you can also see, for example, here that Outlook has sunny, overcast, rain. Those are the three possibilities. So Outlook, Outlook can have these three possibilities. So I can have another array, right? Um, another array of integers of attributes uh, values values and it's going to be of length 4 because I do have 4 attributes and the contents of this are going to be for attribute number 0 it's going to be it's going to be 2 there's 0 1 and 2 possibilities that Outlook can go 0 for sunny, 1 for overcast, and 2 for rain, right? So if I want to replace the sunny, overcast, and rain with numbers, well, they'll go from 0 to 2. Uh, temperature will have hot, mild, and cool. Those are, so it's also 2, 0, 1, and 2. Or I can actually have the number of attributes. There you go. So it's going to go from a number zero to an attribute less than this one. This is the number of at, the number of things that I have, uh, the number of values. Then, for humidity, I only have high normal. Okay, so just two values. For wind, for wind, sorry, for wind, I have weak and strong. So another, just two values. And for play tennis, I have two values. Yes and no. Okay. So now I know the following. For attribute zero. I can have three values, all right? And the values will go from zero to less than this number. Now, how do I represent this table then? Well, this table will be a double array, will be a double array that's going to look like this. The first line, sunny, which is zero, Temperature is going to be hot, which is zero. Humidity is going to be high, which is zero. Wind is going to be weak, which is zero. And play tennis is going to be no, which is zero. I just... Then the second row, again, outlook is the same as zero. Temperature is also zero, because it's also hot. Humidity is high, which is also zero. But wind is strong, which is one. And play tennis is still zero. For the third row, outlook is overcast, that means 1. Temperature is hot, which is 0, we've decided that. 
humidity is high, which is zero. Oops, which is zero. Humidity is high, which is zero. Wind is weak, which is zero again. And play tennis is yes, which is one. And so on and so forth. So basically, what we've what we've done is we've said, okay, attribute zero contains three values, zero, one, and two. Zero for sunny, one for overcast, two for rain. If you want to keep and be able to trace that, you can also create, for example, um, a, um, a string double array, okay, with attribute names. And that array will look something like this. So for Outlook 0, so for Outlook, which is attribute 0, you'll have sunny, overcast, and rainy. For attribute 1, you will have uh, hot and mild. For attribute uh, wind, you will have weak and strong. Okay, so and for play tennis you will have yes and no. Okay, so if you at any point want to ask, for example, what is value 3 for humidity, or what is value 3 for temperature, you will look at temperature as attribute number 1. Okay, attribute number 1. So you will go with you will say at names of attribute number one and then which one do you want zero one or two say I want zero what's the zero what's the value of zero that will give you at names one zero will go at names one here zero h hot so for attribute one uh, for, for attribute one value zero is hot and I forgot the cool actually here medium and cool okay so what is at what's the attribute number two for for I mean what for attribute one what's value number two attribute one is here value number two would be this C which is cool right I'm just using the first letters but I could just as well type the names but anyways the idea is that you get from with these basic arrays here okay you can then put your data with numbers and then you work only with numbers okay you only work with numbers um, and you can know because you have how many values are in each category you know that you can go from zero to whatever you know one less of these numbers and you can then put your data with numbers and that makes it a lot easier to compare things to add things and so on and so forth a lot easier to work Therefore, a lot of files, a lot of file formats where this data comes in, they come in this form. They come in the form of something like this. Uh, number of attributes, say four, right? And then first attribute, Outlook has sunny, overcast, and rainy. Temperature has hot, mild, and cold. Humidity has high and, low, and normal. And then wind has weak and strong. And play tennis has yes and no. And then probably something like this. The target attribute here is attribute numbers number zero one two three four number four and then data data and then they start doing this right so zero 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 the next one zero 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 one zero because the we the wind went to strong which is the first value value number one wind strong this is zero for weak one for strong so that's a one there then the next one is one for overcast, zero for hot, 
zero for humidity high, zero for wind weak, one for platonist yes. The next row D4 is two for rainy, uh, one for mild, zero for high, zero for weak, one for play tennis. The next one is two for rainy, um, two for cool, uh, one for normal, zero for weak, one for yes, and so on and so forth. And then the file might look just like this, where the first line has a number of attributes, the successive lines, you know, if the number of attributes is four, then the four successive lines have the attribute names and the possible values, then there's a target attribute, then there's some marker, and then the data begins in numerical format. That makes it a lot shorter than typing humid, 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 or whatever attributes are here. It makes it for a much shorter file and much easier to compute uh, calculation. The file formats for the homeworks are very similar to this. Read the description, and you will see that this is very uh, this this uh, it's it's very similar to this format.